In today's episode of Homestead How, we've got a good one for you today. My wife is leaving me for three days and I'm in charge of cooking food for my three girls and myself with a $10 budget. I'm going to go to Aldi's and see what I can buy and come back and show you some frugal family meals that we're going to cook right here on our homestead and my daughter Alyssa is going to help. Make sure you watch till the very end. The last meal turns out really good and we have some of our favorite homestead photos we took on and about our homestead this week. That looks good. Look how crispy it looks. I don't want to come closer. I know. Gary here from Homestead How. I have a $10 bill and Jen is leaving for three days and she put me in charge. cooking meals for the entire family. We have an extreme emergency frugal budget. I'm gonna head into Aldi's with just this $10 bill and see if I can get enough food for the next three days for our entire family. I'm gonna show you each of those meals. Let's get started and see what I can get. Okay, quiet. How's my hair hat straight? It looks crooked. All right, so last night I went to Aldi. Jen is leaving me. Hopefully she's coming back. She's leaving me in charge of cooking for three days. And we did a couple of videos like this a while back. We did 42 homestead breakfasts for under $20. And then we did 42 homestead dinners for under $20. One of those videos has like 150,000 views. It was a lot of fun coming up with some meals we can cook on the homestead, but going out to the grocery store and not using eggs and stuff from our homestead. And I'm going to do another one of those videos. I had $10, I went to Aldi's, and I have to cook food for myself and three of the girls for the next three nights. That's gonna be under a dollar per meal. We're gonna do some family meals with a little bit of a homestead flair. I'm gonna cook them all myself. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna show you how we did it. I have my receipt from Aldi's, I'm at $9.60. I'm gonna use almost everything from there, just a few things from our own pantry that everyone should have on hand, like salt and pepper and cooking oil. All right, let's show you what I got here from Aldi's for $10. Actually, it was $9.40. They call these uh, grocery challenges. They are a challenge. There's a lot of strategy involved going in there. I walked through the store a couple times. My goal going in there was I was gonna get a whole chicken. Sometimes they have those for four or five dollars. And I was gonna cook that up and make chicken noodle soup and like a chicken casserole. They didn't have the chicken. All the prices are going up too, by the way, as you know, inflation. So this is gonna become more and more important. Here's what I got. The big thing was the protein. I got ground turkey. This is a big tip if you're trying to be frugal. If you go for the ground beef, which is what I initially grabbed, that was $3.30. This was a buck 99. I actually purchased two of these. So this is gonna be the protein for the meal. The other thing I purchased was some vegetables, steamed mixed vegetables. These were 70 cents. I have 30 corn tortillas. This was like a buck 30. And I'm gonna make up a bunch of stuff with this since we have 30 of these, there's plenty to go around. I have some baked beans, a can of tomato sauce, and a big thing of rice, and then I bought this, roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Now of course if you're a homesteader, you can get vegetables from your garden, you can get potatoes from your garden, but um, we're doing this as if we're not homesteaders, just so anyone else could, could do it. But Focus. All right, so one of the ways I saved a bunch of money is using the ground turkey instead of ground beef. First thing I'm gonna do is cook up all of that at once. I'm gonna use it for three different meals. I got the cast iron skillet out. If you're a homesteader, or if you're not a homesteader, you gotta get one of these cast iron skillets. So we got an extra, extra big one. Food comes out so much better on these. It tastes great, and it's really good for you because there's a lot of weird stuff in some of those non-stick Teflon uh, cooking pans. So get the ground turkey cooking. Okay, so while the turkey's cooking up, I found a dish and I've got these mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna boil some water, two cups of water, and get these ready. And then I'll have the shepherd's pie almost ready to go. So I've never done this before, but I'm gonna save the grease and the drippings that are in here from the turkey. And I'm gonna mix in a little bit of butter. Again, I got 50 cents left. So a little bit of butter, a little bit of oil, a little bit of milk, and make like a gravy. And that's gonna go in for the shepherd's pie. So then the ground turkey's gonna go in with the gravy, and then the mixed vegetables, and then the mashed potatoes are gonna go on top of it. And that'll be our first meal 
And that's less than a dollar a meal. We paid $10, there's four of us tonight, for the next day, four, so that's gonna be 12 meals for $10, less than a dollar a meal. So my turkey's cooking up, the water's boiling. I'm gonna make those mashed potatoes now, these dehydrated ones. Again, we're homesteaders, normally we'd make these from scratch. We did potatoes in our garden last year, we had a whole bunch of them. But this is a good, cheap way to do it if you don't have homemade potatoes. These are actually made from real potatoes. The cool thing with this too is these are pre-seasoned because these are actually garlic, so there's some seasoning in here to give them a little bit of flavor. Not bad, that'll make a good topping on our shepherd's pie. All right, the turkey is all cooked up. I'm gonna separate it out. I'm gonna try to save some of that grease and some of those drippings. And we're gonna divide it up into threes, one for each of the three meals we're cooking. So I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. Again, I have 50 cents left. This is not 50 cents worth of butter. And a little bit, I was gonna add milk, but we don't have any, we have this cream. A little flour. That should be the end of my 50 cents. Actually, I need a little soy sauce for one of the other meals. It smells really good. Garlic salt, I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. Okay, now I'm gonna put about a third of the turkey in. And the vegetables. All right, there's the shepherd's pie. I have to throw it in the oven, it's all cooked, but I'm gonna get a nice crust on the top. It's gonna make it even better. And that gravy turned out really good. Don't really know what I was doing. I watched a couple of YouTube videos, so we'll see how it tastes, but I'm gonna broil it and then we'll be good to go. And then I've got the rest of the turkey ready for the next day's meals. All right, so my first meal is done. Shepherd's pie with ground turkey and the gravy. And let's see what it tastes like. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. You notice I didn't steam those vegetables. I just put them in there. It wasn't in the oven that long, but they're perfect. I think if I would have steamed them first, they would have been really mushy. They got some nice texture to them. The turkey tastes great, and I'm so glad I did that gravy. We made this on our 42 Homestead Dinners episode. We did it with uh, ground beef, but we didn't put, make any gravy like this and it makes a world of difference. It tastes so much better. All right, let's so test out my cooking and see how good it is. It's gonna be the best thing you've ever eaten in your entire life. Definitely. I don't know why it's sticking to the bottom. Isn't it the most amazing food you've ever eaten? Is it the best food you've ever eaten? I'm just kidding, it's really good. How good? <coughs> that good? Are you choking or puking? Are you choking or puking? I tasted it, it tasted good. Is it good or bad? It's good. So you're joking? Yes, it's Hold good. Hold it up to the camera. Katie, come and eat yours! Okay, for this meal, I'm cooking up some ground turkey. I watched a YouTube video and there's a popular thing out there. It's called Korean beef bowls and people have made it with ground turkey. And I have some of this teriyaki sauce, which I know I didn't purchase from Aldi's, but you gotta have some things in your pantry. Like I said, I only spent like $9.40. So I had 60 cents left. So I mean, a couple spoonfuls of this is probably like 10 cents worth. So I'm still right around the $10. I'm gonna put this teriyaki in there. I'm gonna use some white rice. We're gonna make some Korean ground turkey teriyaki bowls. Ready? Alright, a 
Alyssa's the test kitchen, so she's having the Korean ground turkey and rice bowl with a little side of a corn tortilla. How is it? It's really hot. So if you want an honest reaction, you can watch Alyssa. Not those fake cooking shows where they eat it and they go, Oh, it's so good! It tastes so good! Isn't it so good? It's just really hot though. Did you want it cold? How does the little corn tortilla taste that I gave you? Pretty funny. Oh, wait, wait. Make a little sandwich? Yeah. A little carby sandwich? Yeah. Alright, so for the next meal, Alyssa's gonna help me. We're gonna make rice, refried beans, and crispy tacos with the ground turkey. So let's see how that turns out. I'm gonna use this rice maker. We're gonna try to make refried beans and we've never done it before. I have no idea what I'm doing. Me neither. Focus. Try some of that. This one's really good. How much do you want? You're cooking it, I don't know. Put a little of that sauce in. Yeah, I think you gotta do something with those beans. We don't have a proper masher, so I don't know what we're gonna do. Can you mash them up with that thing? Chop, chop, chop. That'll take four hours. So the name of the channel is Homestead How Learn With Us. What are we learning, Alyssa? I don't know how to mash these. We don't know how to make refried beans. We've never done that before. Food tastes better when you make it homemade, because you know what's going in it. Especially if you're cooking sheep like this with the ground turkey. If you put enough spices and seasoning in there, it tastes amazing. You can't even tell the difference. I wish I didn't tell the girls that there was ground turkey in there because they wouldn't have noticed. You can't even tell. It has the consistency of ground beef, as you can see there. And with the spices in it, it tastes really good. All right, we have to figure out how to um, mash these refried beans up. Maybe try this thing. Not the pointy side. Just don't make a huge mess. Squish, squish, squish. I don't know how this food's gonna turn out, but we're completely destroying the kitchen. Alyssa's is getting ready to fried beans all over everything. Now we have this pan, we're gonna put some oil in, and we're gonna try, we're gonna just do tacos, but we wanna try something a little more interesting. So we're gonna try to make little roll-ups, like enchiladas, kinda like an enchilada chimichanga. We're not gonna deep fry it, we're gonna put a little oil in there and crisp it up on each side, so let's see how that works. We put these in the microwave with a little bit of paper towel. All right, let's put some meat in and roll it up and see if we can see if this actually works. Otherwise, we're just gonna have tacos. Just do a little tiny bit of meat because these are small. We're gonna you're gonna get a whole bunch of them with yeah without ripping it. And then we want the seam, a little bit of the seam on the bottom sticking out, so we know it doesn't unroll like that. Oh God. <laughs> that looks good. Look how crispy it looks. I don't want to come on closer. I know, you're going to pop some oil on okay, it. Okay, we got it. We got some. Maybe turn it down just a little bit. All right. It's like a homemade taquito. Ground turkey taquito. <laughs> what is that? Oh! All right, let's make a whole bunch of them now. So we got the refried beans, ground turkey, taquitos, we're calling them taquitos, and some steamy hot rice. Dinner is served. Katie! We gotta tell your sisters to eat too, but you can start first. Oh wait, don't forget the best part. Hot sauce. Oh, yes. Actually, it looks really good. Put some hot sauce on there. Okay, that's good. It's a little bit, just in case. Tastes like beans. I don't know what Not impressed? Like. I wonder what the rice is going to taste like. Tastes like rice. Okay, two for two. What do the ground turkey taquitos with hot sauce on them taste like? It's very spicy, it's very good. It's good? It's very good. I mean, if you said it's not good, I don't care because you pretty much cooked it all. No, because it is. Is it crispy? Good. No, not really. It's like falling apart. Interesting. We could have cooked it longer. 
That's really good though. See this rice? We were going to mix this tomato sauce in and make like a Mexican Spanish rice, but we forgot that part, so we're just having white rice. And we got these, and then we have that, and we have more left over in case someone wants a couple tacos, because there's 30 of these things, so we have a whole bunch of these left. Then we have a whole bunch of rice in here, a ton of rice, and then we still have this thing, a half a bag of rice left over. All right, so in conclusion, I was able to cook three meals times four people, 12 meals for under 10 bucks, purchasing things from Aldi's. Homemade always tastes better, and quite a few of these meals tasted really, really good. What did we learn? The name of our channel is Homestead How Learn With Us. Uh, seasoning is everything. So go and buy the ground turkey for $1.99 instead of $3.50, $3.30 for the ground beef. If you season that properly for tacos, you can't even tell the difference. It's all about having lots of spices and seasonings. One of the good things with all these is they sell all their spices and they're usually about 99 cents a piece. And I heard somewhere that those are actually McCormick spices where you could go to Walmart or somewhere else and pay three or four dollars for those same spices. So have your pantry stocked up if you're gonna be doing a lot of cooking from home. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to watch our other videos we did. We did 42 homestead dinners and 42 homestead breakfasts and those were really fun videos and one of them has over 150,000 views right now. So be sure to subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment down below. What would you cook differently? Any tips or suggestions you have for us because we are rookies. And stay tuned until the very end of the video. We're going to show you some of our favorite photos we took this week on and about our homestead.